Welcome to Historical Insights. In this immersive journey, we delve into the vibrant pages of South India's past, focusing on the illustrious Nawabs of Arcot, a dynasty that left an indelible mark on the Carnatic region. Today, we're peeling back the layers of history to reveal the intriguing tale of these Nawabs, their rise to power, rule and eventual decline. We'll also uncover their cultural and architectural legacy that continues to resonate today. From the origins of their dynasty, their unique way of governance, to their grand palaces and patronage of the arts, and finally, to the challenges that led to their decline, each chapter of this narrative is as captivating as it is enlightening. So, brace yourselves as we step back in time to explore the rise and fall of the Nawabs of Arcot. Our journey into history is about to begin. Chapter 1 takes us back to the origins of the Nawabs of Arcot exploring their rise to power in a turbulent period of Indian history. The late 17th century was a time of significant political upheaval in South India. The region known as Carnatic was rife with power struggles, with various factions vying for control. Amidst this chaos, a figure emerged who would shape the destiny of the Carnatic region. His name was Sadatullah Khan, the first Nawab of Arcot. A man of remarkable shrewdness and diplomatic finesse, he successfully maneuvered through the complex political landscape of his time. Sadatullah Khan was originally a high-ranking official in the court of the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. His astute understanding of politics and impressive administrative skills caught the attention of the Emperor, who appointed him as the Nawab of Carnatic in the year 1720. The Nawab's rule was marked by political alliances and strategic battles. Sadatullah Khan knew that to maintain his position, he needed to forge alliances with powerful entities. He established diplomatic relations with the British East India Company, a move that significantly bolstered his standing. But the rise of the Nawabs was not without its challenges. The Marathas in the north and the rival claimants to the throne posed constant threats to their rule. However, through a combination of military strength, diplomatic tact and administrative acumen, the Nawabs managed to consolidate their power. The reign of the Nawabs was also marked by a distinct shift in the political dynamics of the region. They effectively centralized power, bringing stability to the Carnatic region, which had long been fraught with infighting and instability. Thus, against the backdrop of political turmoil, the Nawabs of Arcot rose to prominence, leaving an indelible mark on the history of South India. Chapter 2 delves deep into the rule and administration of the Nawabs of Arcot. The Nawabs were astute leaders navigating the complex political landscape of the time with finesse. They developed a system of governance that was both effective and efficient, balancing the needs of their subjects with the demands of their position. Their rule was characterized by a blend of traditional Indian and Persian administrative systems, creating a unique governance model. They divided their realm into districts, each overseen by a local official, ensuring that the needs of every region were addressed. This decentralization of power fostered a sense of unity among the diverse communities under their rule. The Nawabs of Arcot were not merely administrators, but also patrons of culture. They took great pride in promoting the arts, literature and music of their region. They opened their courts to poets, musicians and scholars, cultivating a vibrant cultural scene. Their patronage played a significant role in the development of the Carnatic music tradition, a genre that is still celebrated today. In their interactions with other regional powers, the Nawabs demonstrated a keen understanding of diplomacy. They maintained cordial relations with the British East India Company, a strategy that helped them preserve their autonomy for a significant period. However, they also faced challenges, particularly from the neighboring kingdom of Mysore, leading to several conflicts. Despite these struggles, the Nawabs managed to maintain a relatively stable rule. Their commitment to public welfare was also evident in their initiatives. They established schools, built infrastructure and encouraged trade, contributing to the region's prosperity. Their rule was marked by a period of economic growth and cultural flourishing. In their governance, the Nawabs of Arcot displayed a remarkable ability to adapt and innovate. They left behind a legacy that was not just political, but also cultural shaping the history of the Carnatic region in profound ways. The Nawabs of Arcot were not just rulers, but custodians of culture, leaving a lasting impact on the region they governed. Chapter 3 explores the cultural and architectural legacy of the Nawabs. The Nawabs of Arcot in their time were renowned as great patrons of art and architecture. 
Their rule saw the creation of some of the most magnificent structures that stand as a testament to their aesthetic sensibilities and love for grandeur. Let's begin with the architectural marvels they left behind. The Nawabs had a penchant for constructing grand palaces and forts, many of which still grace the landscape of South India. The Chepok Palace in Chennai, with its blend of Indian and Islamic architectural styles, remains one of the most iconic legacies of the Nawabs. Its intricately carved balconies, spacious courtyards and majestic Durba halls bear witness to the Nawabs' love for architectural splendor. Moving on to their patronage of the arts, the Nawabs played a significant role in the flourishing of Carnatic music and dance. They encouraged and supported musicians, dancers and poets, fostering a vibrant cultural scene that thrived under their rule. The court of the Nawabs was a hub for creative expressions where talents were nurtured and artistic innovations were celebrated. Moreover, the Nawabs left an indelible mark on the region's cultural identity. They introduced Persian and Urdu influences to the local Tamil culture, resulting in a rich tapestry of hybrid traditions and customs. This cultural amalgamation is still evident in the region's cuisine, language and art forms, standing as a testament to the Nawab's cultural impact. But the Nawab's cultural legacy extends beyond architecture and the arts. They also made significant contributions to education and law. They established schools and libraries, encouraging the pursuit of knowledge. In terms of law, they implemented fair judicial systems that were ahead of their time, laying the groundwork for modern legal practices in the region. From magnificent palaces to patronage of the arts, the Nawabs of Arcot wove a rich cultural tapestry that still resonates today. Their influence has seeped deep into the cultural fabric of South India, creating a legacy that continues to shape the region's identity. Chapter 4 delves into the challenges and decline faced by the Nawabs of Arcot. As with any dynasty, the Nawabs' reign was not without its share of turbulence. The political, economic and social challenges they faced played a significant role in their eventual decline. In the realm of politics, the Nawabs of Arcot found themselves caught in a web of power struggles and conflicts. They were increasingly pressured by the British East India Company, which was steadily gaining a foothold in the region. Their sovereignty was gradually eroded, and they were forced to become mere puppets in the hands of the company, their authority progressively undermined. On the economic front, the Nawabs were plagued by mounting debts. The cost of maintaining their lavish lifestyle, the expenses incurred in warfare, and the financial strain of paying tributes to the British all contributed to a debilitating economic crisis. The Nawabs were unable to adapt to these changing circumstances, and their financial instability became a major factor in their downfall. Socially, the Nawabs were also facing an uphill battle. The societal changes brought about by the British rule were not always welcomed by the traditional society of the Carnatic region. The Nawab's inability to effectively manage these societal changes added to the challenges they faced. As the power of the Nawabs of Arcot waned, so did their influence. Their decline was a gradual process, marked by a series of setbacks and losses. By the late 18th century, their rule had become a mere shadow of its former glory. The once mighty Nawabs of Arcot were reduced to titular heads, their power significantly diminished. The decline of the Nawabs of Arcot marked the end of an era, but their legacy lives on in the pages of history. Despite the challenges they faced, their contributions to the cultural and political landscape of the Carnatic region cannot be overlooked. In our next chapter, we will reflect on this enduring impact and the role of the Nawabs in shaping the history of South India. As we conclude our journey, we reflect on the enduring impact of the Nawabs of Arcot and their role in shaping the history of the Carnatic region. From their tumultuous rise to power, we have seen how they navigated through a dynamic political landscape, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of South Indian history. Their rule and administration, a testament to their governance capabilities, served as a blueprint for the development of the region. Their cultural contributions and architectural legacies have enriched the cultural tapestry of the Carnatic region. Even their challenges and subsequent decline have provided us with valuable historical insights. In essence, the tale of the Nawabs of Arcot is a tale of resilience, influence and legacy.
It is a tale that continues to resonate through the ages, reminding us of a vibrant chapter in the history of South India. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the Nawabs of Arcot. Stay tuned for more fascinating historical insights. If you're captivated by the rich history of South India and want to delve deeper into the stories of dynasties like the Nawabs of Arcot, we encourage you to engage with us further. Our historical journey doesn't have to end here. With just a click, you can join our community of passionate history explorers. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be the first to know when we unlock another fascinating chapter of history. Did you enjoy our journey through the vibrant pages of South India's past? If this story of the Nawabs of Arcot fascinated you, why not let us know? Click that like button and show your appreciation. And remember, history is best when shared. So, why not bring your friends along on this journey? Share this video and spread the knowledge. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with fellow history enthusiasts. Remember, history is not just about the past. It's about understanding our present and shaping our future. Until next time, keep exploring.